my battery backup power. It's four lead time, lie time, uh, 12 volt, 200 amp hours. That's a total of 800 amps. I built a seen in my previous videos. I built that wooden frame. I mean, the steel frame for the wood to go around it, but how life gets in the way. <laughs> it's on wheels. I can roll it around. Uh, Renji 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. That's the second one. Actually, I blew up. I blew up two of them. The 700 watt and a 2000, my other 2000 watt, but they honored their warranty on the 2000. I just got my money back on the 700 watt. Um, so they honored their warranty, and but this one is wired different. On the other one, the black was on the right and the red was on the left. So I guess this is the newer model. So I guess that's how they know it's the newer model. They swapped the power leads on there for whatever reason. Um, but anyway, so I changed the wiring up. I did have two, two watt well lead to it, but I was forced to use theirs because mine wasn't long enough after they done swapped it from there. Um, 100 amp hour fusing. There was This is two gauge welding, 105 degrees Celsius wire. Um, that's what I use. And then the Victron 500 amp hour smart shunt right there. Um, so this is my hookups and so the main thing about this video is this charger They just came out lead time just came out with this charger. It's an 80 amp hour charger uh, For 200 bucks what's 175 200 after um, shipping I mean taxes and everything which is really an outstanding deal And that's why I've got it because I had the 40 amp hour charger which works great. I like this It, it really it, it, it does it does 40 amps. However, with 800 amp hour capacity in my bank i know i needed another charger but man 200 dollars for 40 amps i mean that's why i waited i'm glad i did wait too because this is an introductory price 200 dollars for 80 amps so it's like double you know i got like three of these you know what i'm saying it's like almost buy one get one free if you want to look at it that way anyway we'll give it a run here um so connecting with the smart shunt right now you see lead time 800 amp hour I did burn it some to drop the capacity because we're about to turn this on for the first time. Um, you're going to be seeing it as I see it. Um, again, this charger here is not plugged on. I mean, it's plugged in, but it's not on. And you see right there the current, there's nothing going in. And so we are going to turn this on for the first time. And here we go. Fans kick on. It's close enough, huh? Yeah. So I'm pretty happy with that. I need, you know, when you need power, you need power. Um, I got breast milk in my uh, deep freezers, and I can run my deep freezers for six to seven days just on this battery paint. If I run my uh, icebox with it, I can get about three days, no gas. So that's why I put in the amp hours is a big deal. You need to charge it when you need to charge it. So now just for another test, I'm gonna kick on the other 40 amp hour, and now we should get around 120 amps. It's on, kicked, there it is, boom. Relay kicked, boom. 117 amps. And it's not that loud. So, yeah, very happy with that. Um, again, this main video is about this charger right here. And I'm happy. The shipping comes in a bag and not an exposed box. So, you know, they really got all uh, this carriers really got to rip open the bag and see what it is so they can steal it <laughs> um, but they hide the labels on it which is good um, I bought a power max lithium charger before with 100 amp hour but it only put out 20 amp um, so I had to return that but this here actually does what it says it does again because I got 80 and 40 amps charging capability going into it and that's what I got on the Victron. So uh, yeah overall I'm pretty happy. Um, maybe one day I'll get to finish this project. But um, thanks for the time.